All right, guys, uh, today I went to pick up my packages, and I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, so I figured I'd do, like, I'd do a video where I just open it up to see what we got. Most of it should be, uh, should be tech stuff. Uh, pretty sure uh, my herpes medicine isn't in this delivery. <laughs> That's a joke. For you on the internet that can't take jokes. Uh, let's see what we got here. Another box. A box inside a box. And it's made in China. Man, they wrapped this thing good. How the hell where do I open this? Joystick. That's right. All right. I thought I ordered two of these, but for those of you that don't know, these these are my. I know it's it may be lame to some of you guys. These are my favorite joysticks to use. Um, these are the ones that uh, if you go to the Micro Center, they come in all different colors. Uh, not sure what they they're actually called what the you know the actual name of it is but uh it it, it always has the you know the the regular top not the circle top or the ball top like the Japanese ball top and they're usually the springs are usually it's usually comes with like a six pound spring already in it uh, I mean I have to check it but if not out I end up putting a six pound spring in it and it just, for fighting games, it's just, I don't know, they just work, they, I, I just like the feel of them, because they're, they're not, like, cheap, there's, it, you could, you actually have to move it, you know what I mean, some people don't like that, uh, feeling, but you could always change the, uh, the micro switches if you're not into that type of, uh, thing, but this, this, uh, this joystick's awesome, it's for another project I'm doing, uh, so, that's good, i I ordered two. I don't know why they sent one, but man, unless it's in one or the other box. None of these other boxes look like that, though. So, <laughs> ah, this looks like that. This looks exactly like that. <laughs> Except for SJ, SJ, JX are usually USB encoder boards. But uh, maybe they make joysticks. I don't, know. I don't think that's what that joystick's called, though. Maybe these are encoder boards for the mini arcade one up that I'm modding, possibly. Mini or countercade, whatever you want to call it. Yep, that's exactly what these are. These are one, two, two. Let's see. These are just regular cheap, uh, cheap USB encoder boards. But if you're doing like little projects like I am, like I'm, I'm just modding that arcade one up uh, countercade. These are perfect for that because. I be because they 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 do the LED and the buttons all in one, so it's it's just an easy. You don't have much room if you've uh, any of these have taken apart the countercades. Um, it's like you really have no space there at all, and these are the correct uh, connectors too, so it'll connect right on. So see, there you go. There's your five volts. 
Although I don't, I don't know. I have actually, depending on what buttons I use, I might, I still might use my other. Uh, I might not use this to light them up. I have uh, I have 12 volt uh, bulbs, and uh, I might, I might use those instead. It depends. I, I don't know. On the little, uh, on the little one up countercade. I, the five volts probably fine, you know what I mean. For, but uh, for any of those eclipse buttons that you guys see that I have that I like, that those are definitely getting uh, twelve volts because because it's black and you want it as bright as possible uh, on the outside of the since it's not lighting up the whole button. You know what I mean. You want you want it to be as bright as possible on the outside. So I, I always go with the twelve volts on that one. Move this over here. Ah, uh, yes, I was waiting for these. My 18 gauge wires. 50 feet, six colors. For those of you who don't own. No, these are just, these are the wires we use to, especially inside our pinball. These, uh, this say you connect to two ends. For those of you who don't know, you, uh, you solder them together to two ends, to two wires, and you put this sleeve over it, and then you melt the sleeve over the solder, and it gives it a perfectly good, nice, uh, safe connection. And these... When you set them up right, you actually you don't wanna, you don't want to damage the box because I'm not going to set it up right now. But you see the holes in the box. You actually pull the three out through here, and then three out through here, and then that's like your dispenser, and then you just cut it. So, so the box is actually useful. So that I was waiting for this. I needed that badly. Uh, not worse than being out of wires when you're in the middle of a a mod or anything because everything just stops. You just can't. Just, it just stinks, and you don't want to skimp on the wires because then you got to worry about fires and stuff. It's this. Okay. Oh, speaking of these. Uh, Many, the, many people that you watch that they do uh, builds for pinball tables, you always hear them say, right, we got a 5 volt, 12 volt, and 24 volt power supplies, right, all separate, and you see them, they're silver, I, I have one in the other room, I, I, I don't have one in, in this room, but you know what I'm talking about, um, and so they, they hook up all their 5 volt uh, supply, you know, items to that power supply, the 12 volt for 12 volt, 24 volt, etc. for all the toys. What they don't tell you is none of those power supplies actually come with a leg to plug into the wall. So for those of you that are building a, 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 a virtual pinball table and you're going to buy the uh, power supplies like that, which, which you, you should, unless you're going to use a million, uh, you know, plugs. Um, you have to order one of these. This is a heavy duty one, but, uh, and it, this is basically a plug, so plug with the three, uh, three connectors. These are basically, uh, this is, this is pretty long. This is actually, a little too long but these are 10 feet 14 gauge though but but they're they're basically wires for washing machines um dishwashers that's where you buy these and uh you never hear anyone in their videos talk about it so when i ordered my power supply my five volt power supply and i'm like all right 
I'm gonna wire up uh, wire up these these items in my in my pinball table. How do I plug in the power supply? And I you know did a little googling. Uh, actually, I talked to a couple friends, but they said, yeah, you actually have to go. And they recommended you know the the specific one. Luckily, I ordered the actual one, but uh, you have to you have to actually. Those power supplies, for some reason, don't come with a plug. I don't, I don't know what the reason is, um, because the power supply is, is it's a they know what what, what the rating the ratings are on it. So I don't know why they make you buy a plug and then you know and then wire it up with with these three these three wires. Uh, for those of you, if any of you that are that want to know what what kind of plugs these are that's exactly what it is so p i n t o x so pin tux 10 foot 14 gauge and i did that's from amazon so if you put that into amazon in the search bar and and that's what you'll get all right and you'll see it it'll have the It'll be just plugs like this, you know. Th this is heavy duty. I mean, I didn't, I didn't need ten feet, but because uh, I have uh, my, I have the power, power. Sh every all my power things are inside the cabinet, so I just got to plug. And I have one plug that leaves the back. You know what I mean? But that's not a problem. It's, I could just cut this. It's not a big deal. But that's what these are for, and nobody ever tells you about them. So. I'm telling you, this is one of those things <laughs> that they leave out. So you have to order, you have to order them. Uh, if you're going to order a power supply uh, for your pinball arcade, you have to get the plug to be able to plug in the power supply. So it's a good. I had to learn that on my own. Uh, so I hope that helps some of you guys. Uh, that's why I try and make these videos and uh, tell you guys what to order. Because I obviously I just I just order lots of stuff. Like whereas I'd rather make it so that you don't have to go through all it. Just order. You could order exactly what you need and just get and get going. You know what I mean? And get your build on the on a roll. Okay, let's see what this is. This is also Amazon. Everything that I've showed you so far is Amazon. I got from the Amazon. Uh, I had to pick it up. You know, I have to pick it up from the lockers. We have Amazon lockers. And uh, when you live in the city, people steal your mail. I don't know how it is by you. Uh, I may leave a comment if you ever got your mail. Your package is stolen. But they in the city, they literally, there's people that actually just follow the, the UPS trucks and and stuff like that, and they, they just steal your packages. That's why, even when I have the video camera, you know, the video camera security and stuff, it doesn't matter. Because by the time they grab it, you know it's, it's gone. Okay, what do we got here? We got... Uh, uh, this is just more pieces I ran out of supplies. Uh, I'm sure everyone have seen, has seen these and... and or have these at home. These are all just connections uh, for all kinds of things. It doesn't have to be arcade. It's just uh, I I needed them for uh, for other stuff, not not arcade related. But I run out, and then I just order these packs from Amazon. They th come three hundred piece. You see the different gauges. Per, per, this is these are the things that like when I said you're look you're trying to wire something up, and then you're like. You're out of this size. You're like, and it ruins everything. Then you gotta take take a drive to Lowe's or something, and it just makes just makes it a pain in the ass. Uh, then on this I was waiting for my heat gun. Uh, my old heat gun died, so it was time to order a new one. Uh, remember, I told you before. Uh, especially when you're soldering, uh, 
I mean, you could just use the soldering iron when you're doing it. Uh, I used to use these, and anyone that served uh, that had to have their boots shined, you put boot polish on your uh, on your black shoes, and you use the heat gun on it, and that's how you got your shoes to look like mirrors, so the drill instructors wouldn't tear into you. But that's all this is, the uh, awesome heat gun with, with different attachments. Uh, I needed the, I needed this, waiting for this for a while. Um, when you're doing wires, like, uh, like I said before, and you're connecting two wires, uh, and you solder them, and then you put that, the sleeve, the solder sleeve over it, uh, you could just use the hot, the end of the, the solder gun, just carefully, and melt, you know, and melt the, uh, the sleeve. You don't need to go take out a heat uh, heat gun to do it. I was just saying I I, I needed the heat gun anyway, but I'm just saying uh, that you could. That's the way most people do their uh, when they're heating the sleeve to melt it over the solder. They just use the soldering gun. At least at least I do. Uh, I would I would assume most people do that too. But if not, you can always use the heat gun. This is from the mail, sir. Regular mail. So I don't know what this is. Let's see. So far, I think the only thing I didn't get is my controller. I don't, but I don't know why they wouldn't ship it separate. But. Oh, yes. Fun, fun. Okay, yes. Paradise Arcade Shop. These are these are my buttons. Yes. Yeah, this is what I was... This is what I really was waiting for. I got a... So you guys know, I have like a hundred of, of those... Uh, blue Eclipse uh, buttons. Oh, look. There's all the micro switches they throw in. Well, I I ordered what I get. I got a uh, so yeah, these are 12, 12 volt super bright LEDs. I got uh, where's the number? Ten white ones, and I got. 20 red eclipse buttons. So, you see how I had all those blue ones. Now I got red and, uh, and white. So, I think I'm going to redo my at games, uh, my ALP, the stand-up uh, stand unit. I'm going to redo that control deck all with Eclipse buttons. I think I'm going to do half red, half blue, and then maybe the top, you know, the top button's white. Um, let's see if I can really quick try and light one of these up, or two of these up. One red, one blue, I mean, one, one red, one white, since uh, you, have guys, you guys saw what the, what the blue looks like, which I think looks awesome. So let's see what these red and uh, and white ones look like. Okay, some these little bulbs. Wow, these both these are, these are different. Uh, these are like, they're called ultra bright bulbs. They're a lot, they're, they're still LEDs, but they're different than the bulbs that were in my other ones. So you can say, look at the, they're straight up like the, the super bright LEDs. So let's see how they, how they actually look though.
Hold on one second. I'm trying to. Okay. Put the white one in. Okay, it's the red. I never used these bulbs before. Alright. Um, here's the white one. Okay. Obviously, I don't have the micro switches in, but I can still light them up. Let me uh, turn this light off so you can get a better, better view of what it looks like. Um, here's my, you know, these things I, I've been telling you guys in my other videos. This is what I use to light them all up. It's very easy. Just plug it right into it plug <clears throat> all right let's see give me a negative give me a positive let's see how these things look can I find which one oh man this looks awesome I'm looking at it on the screen, the camera screen, and I could see it. It looks orange to you guys, but uh, any of you guys that have ever filmed your your uh, your your lights or your arcade on a uh, on a camera, you know it doesn't come out like the way it's, the way it really looks. It looks amazing. That's awesome. It was definitely going on my. They're going on my ALP. That looks awesome. All right, let's see what the, let's see what the white looks like. Wait, I forgot to put the rim on. Oh well, that's all right. Here's the light. Look at that. Guys, man, I'm telling you, these buttons are off the hook. Look at that. Look how bright they are. <laughs> I'm holding it. I should have just put it on, but. That looks nice, man. That would look awesome on any arcade. That looks good. I wonder if that would look that would look even better on my my pinball table that, instead of the blue. I don't know. You see how I can see to see what happens? The, I'm always thinking of something. This is the white eclipse buttons. And here is red. One more time. Red. Alright. Alright guys. That's that's it. That's all I came today. So uh man, don't those white eclipse buttons are nice. And uh, where I got them from is it's called the Paradise Shop. It's not uh, it's, Here we go. I'm going to give you the, the actual website so you can go and browse yourself. Um, hold on one second. Let's just fold this. I want you to be able to see it. Paradise Cadades. Oh, Paradise Arcades. Shop.com. Paradise Arcade Shop.com. Singular. I'm reading it upside down, so it's hard. So it's Paradise Arcade Shop. 
dot com. And that's where that's where all this stuff came from. Uh, just missing the controller. All right. Uh, all right. Take care, guys.